In this video, we'll take a look at the humanistic approach in psychology, as well as gestalt psychology. So humanistic psychology is a perspective that says that humans are inherently good, and it's focused on helping people reach their full potential. It was also a reaction against behaviorism in that it said that people have free will. You see, behaviorists thought all behavior was shaped by rewards and punishments, which are external influences, which basically means they didn't think we have free will. The humanistic approach would disagree. At the core of humanistic psychology is the belief that every individual has the capacity for personal growth, self-actualization, and creativity. This approach recognizes that people also have a fundamental need to reach their potential. So if other perspectives were trying to understand the psyche or fix mental health issues, the humanists were just trying to help us all live our best lives. One of the most well-known figures in humanistic psychology is Abraham Maslow, and he developed the concept of the hierarchy of needs. This idea says that people have basic physiological and safety needs that they need to meet before they can focus on higher level needs like love, self-esteem, and self-actualization. And you can think of self-actualization as basically becoming the best version of yourself. Another key figure in the humanistic approach is Carl Rogers, who developed person-centered therapy. This therapeutic approach emphasizes empathy and unconditional positive regard as essential elements of a therapeutic relationship. So unconditional positive regard basically means that the person who's receiving therapy should always be treated positively and they should treat themselves positively as well. Rogers believed that all people are driven to become self-actualized, and he thought that therapy can help people reach that goal. So overall, the humanistic approach is characterized by a focus on free will and personal growth. Okay, now let's take a look at Gestalt psychology. Gestalt psychology is a school of psychology that emphasizes the study of the mind and behavior as a whole, rather than focusing on individual elements or parts. So this perspective emerged as a reaction against the structuralist approach to psychology. So to explain the differences, let's imagine these two perspectives studying a car. The structuralist would want to take the car apart and kind of see what each part does and how they fit together, while the gestalt psychologist would simply study the car as a whole without breaking it down. And these psychologists believed that human perception and cognition is more than just kind of gathering information from your senses. Instead, they argued that our experiences are shaped by the way we organize and interpret information and that our perceptions are influenced by a variety of factors, including context, expectations, and past experiences. And one of the big ideas in Gestalt psychology is the concept of emergence, which claims that complex systems or patterns can arise from the interaction of simpler elements. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, if you add up all of the parts of our psyche, like our senses, our memory, our thoughts, they would say that it all comes together to form something greater. It's like somehow one plus one plus one equals 10. So to sum things up, the Gestalt psychologist would say this thing we call the human psyche is valuable only when we look at it as a whole. Okay, so those are the basic ideas of the humanistic perspective and Gestalt psychology. In our next video, we'll take a look at the modern levels of analysis in psych and the different career domains where you'll see people using psychology at work.